Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing a couple different things. The first thing we're going to do is have a look at this wildlife rescue uh, camp, which is a new Lego City set. Comes with a huge amount of animals. It's pretty cool. Also, you all know that we've been wanting to build a zoo. So I'm going to show you all of the different animals in which we have for that zoo. We've been acquiring them over the last few months. This set is pretty cool. 503 pieces, 60307. It came out in August of 2021 here in Canada, and it's pretty neat. So let's have a look at it. So like all city sets, this one actually came with a bunch of different instruction manuals. I think they do that so families can build them together rather than putting them in one big booklet. If you have a family with a few kids, you guys can split up the different build modules. So, you know, you got, what, four different instruction manuals? So it's pretty cool. And then the set's right here. So obviously one of the main reasons why I got this set here, and I think one of the main selling features of it, is all of the animals in which it comes with. I also really like this rescue truck right here. It's really well done. It's phenomenal. So we've got a lion and a lioness. Love those animals there. We also got a couple monkeys here that can cling to the tree by their tail or by their hand. Got a couple lion cubs here. We've got some minifigures right here, veterinarian, and you get the guy in the middle there. I think he's like one of the workers. And then the gentleman on the left there with the big camera doing some photography. And there's one other minifigure right over here in this little dinghy that comes with the set as well. And that dinghy is actually brand new. It's only found in this set at this particular time, I believe. You also get this guy on the motorbike right here. And he's sitting beside this giant elephant. So lots of different animals come with this set, and I love that elephant. It is fantastic. It's, I think, a brand new mold. It's, it's amazing. I also get this little, I don't know, what is this thing? It, it flies, a little flying craft, I guess. I don't know the exact name for it, but you can see our last minifigure in there as well. So there is this area here that has one of these large trees, and there's also a little den there, so you can put some of your lines in the den. A nice rock formation on the bottom with the tree sprouting out of the top. And then we actually have one of our other animals right here, which is like a falcon, a bird of some sort. It's got an egg on the top there. And the tree uses a bunch of these different limb elements to make a pretty nice looking tree that can be integrated into a city or into a campground or into a zoo or something like that. Also comes with this little thing here that has a flame element on it. I guess that's why they're calling this the wildlife rescue. There is a spot in which you can put your photographer up top here. You can see there's actually a pair of binoculars and a pretty cool little fabric piece there to create a nice tent, a ladder leading up to that tent, and there's just a little table inside the tree shelter there uh, that has a cup of coffee on it, a ladder going across, and some water right here as well. Sort of like the new uh, road plate style water. And this dinghy, like I said, is brand new for this year, so it's pretty cool. Nice little dinghy. I think it beats the old yellow one. On this tree right here, we have a little crane that can load cargo into the dinghy. You can see they actually use cell phones, or not cell phones, but large phone pieces there that can be put onto the hook. That's definitely not a cell phone. But a phone element to hook the cargo, and then it can be loaded into the dinghy or into the truck. I think the truck is spot on. This thing is amazing. It's got the big exhaust on the front there. It'll open up like so. Inside you have another one of those crates. You got a thing of peanuts, a sticker element with uh, that represents a screen or a computer. You also have a microscope there. All of these crates will open up and there's stuff inside. This one has apples and bananas. This one here has bottles and a syringe. And then this one here has a piece of chicken in it, <laughs> along with like a little hook or something like that. And these can be loaded into the truck or into the dinghy or be hung off that crane there or can just be, you know, in the possession of one of the minifigures that is tending to the animals. So that is the new wildlife rescue camp set in the Lego City lineup for 2021. I really like it. I just love all the different animals that it comes with and also that truck. I don't know, it's just something that is really grabbing my attention here with this truck. I don't know, this is really cool. Um, so let's take a look at all of the other animals that I have for the zoo.
Okay, so we've got our zoo area. <laughs> Nowhere near completion. But uh, look at that. You've got one giraffe there. Also, I've got another one of those sets, so we're going to build another giraffe. And then I just placed all these animals loosely in here from the wildlife rescue set. I love that elephant and those lions. They are so great. So we actually came across a pretty cool discovery. And that discovery is that you can actually order animals from Lego directly using the bricks and pieces section on their website. That's where you go to order missing pieces for your Lego sets or order bulk parts. You can actually find animals on there as well. Just Google Lego bricks and pieces. So we've got some polar bears here now, which is really awesome. And in that same bag, we got some koalas. So those are some new ones that recently showed up. Those are pretty cool. You got some lions in here. We've got some crocodiles. We've got a camel. Horses. Dogs and cats. Brickbuilt bear from one of the three-in-one sets. I don't know why the shark guy's in here, but sure. A bag of seagulls. <laughs> It's no longer a flock of seagulls. It's a bag of seagulls. Those will be all over the uh, the city here eventually. We've got all these different parrots, ostriches. What are these? Squirrels? Oh, just they ordered a bunch of squirrels. Okay, that's cool. Chickens. Whole bunch of stuff. There's more birds, uh, more horses, more gators, an ox, uh, fish and chicks, a uh, spider there. Ah, a spider. Oh, this black bear is pretty sweet. So these things have come from all around the world. Oh, look at this baby elephant. Oh my gosh. So that's one that she ordered from Bricks and Pieces. Because I know there's a new set that came out with the baby elephant. And I was like, oh, we got to get that. But she said, wait a minute. We can just order the animal rather than ordering the entire set. Why don't we just order the animal so we don't have to get all those additional pieces that we don't need. We just get the animal that we want. We got penguins here. Flamingos, octopus, so all sorts of cool animals. Also some zookeepers as well from a CMF series. I think we got, yeah, actually we ordered three of them. And then Jose actually just took some miscellaneous minifigures from our city and changed out their faces so that they all had different faces. But there's our three zookeepers. And of course, all of these animals will be going in the city, uh, in the farm, or in the zoo. So as you can see, we've got a lot of animals now. Why have we not started this project? I'm gonna tell you folks, <laughs> we've got a lot of projects on the go and we're prioritizing the city and also like that being the downtown core and also the amusement park before we start our zoo because this is so close to being finished here and also the downtown core is so close to being finished. Well, I would actually consider it to be finished, but we're just uh, getting ready to change it even more. Actually, when this video comes out, those changes might have already been done. So why are we not doing our zoo? It's just because we're prioritizing the amusement park and also uh, the downtown core. So make sure you stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here with all of those animals, just not this animal. Yeah, actually this animal too. Right, Stella? Hello. <laughs> She's happy. Everybody remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And I hope you liked our brief overview of that set and a quick look at all of our animals. Peace out.